In Afghanistan, NATO forces require about 4 million litres of fuel per day. But transporting fuel to military operations is expensive and can threaten troop safety. All this fuel has to go, for example, to Afghanistan or any other remote area by convoy. And these convoys have to be secured. Often they are attacked or, you know, just driving on the road is dangerous. That is why NATO is improving the energy efficiency of its military forces. NATO's smart energy team brings together experts to explore energy efficient solutions for military camps. During exercise capable logistician in the summer of 2013, experts from several NATO nations presented new technologies, such as this hydrogen fuel cell. We have um, developed a generator, which is actually the same like a diesel generator. But in this case, we are not using diesel as a fuel. We are using the surrounding air and pure hydrogen to generate electricity. This system allows the generator to run the camp, but its excess power is built up in the battery storage. And then when the batteries are fully charged, the generator can switch off and the camp can be run on the batteries. It's saving fuel. So in a typical forward operating base, an army camp, this system should save around 30% of diesel. The initial investment may not be attractive at first because of the cost. Some of these technologies are expensive because they have not yet been produced on a large scale. But some off-the-shelf devices have already been successfully implemented in theatre. Last year, the Dutch Ministry of Defence installed LEDs and solar panels in Mazar-e Sharif in Afghanistan, and the equipment paid for itself within a few months. For the smart energy team, the hardest part is bringing about a change in mentality. I think this is a, a mind change you need to initiate here. If you're used to your diesel generator, your soldiers know how to maintain it, how to dismantle it, how to repair it, how to take the jerry can and fill it with diesel. You just don't want change. You stick to it. Smart energy will not take the diesel generators away, but it will make energy use more efficient and help to reduce fuel consumption. And it will start to change mentalities. Accurate data on energy performance, the costs and return on investment are needed, according to experts. The zero footprint camp still has a long way to go, but these prototype solutions show the progress being made.